Hello, good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you? Good, man. And you? So tired. Tired? So tired. <laughs> Why? Why so tired? Um, I, uh, <laughs> really? You had a lot of things to do today? Yeah. Hasta que me sacaron de la oficina. <laughs> ah. Sí, me sacaron porque ya nos tenían, ya solo yo quedaba. Vigilante me dijo, vaya para afuera. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, you had like so much work that the, 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 the guard in there, like take you out from there? <laughs> wow. Yes, porque es, es que si no me iba, este, él se, él se tenía que quedar más tiempo. Ah, yeah. <laughs> so then that's why. Yeah. As the, and he was like, hey, I need, I need to go home. <laughs> go home to you too. <laughs> sí. Ay, oh, yeah. Es, eh, ay, si quiere ir pide la comida, me dijo, para que le den, se, se la pasen aquí, me, porque yo me voy. Me. <laughs> he must be mad at you, man. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my God. Yeah, I mean, you, yeah, so then you had a lot of work to do. You had oh, a lot yeah, of okay. work. Yeah, pero, bueno, aquí estamos. Yeah, Good evening, yeah. everyone. Good evening, ever. Good evening, ever. Fine, fine. And you? Fine, too. I just had a not kind of, a, a, you know, like, like good, but I must say, like, it was a nice weekend. It was a nice weekend. It was full of work. Yeah. Not not work from, from, from a company or like by teaching, but by doing, you know, like the chores here at home, a lot of things. Besides that, I'm I'm trying to 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 build a, a bathroom and a, a new shower in the new house because I'm moving. So I mean it takes time, you know, like like when you have a people that like in in that work and you have to be there i mean telling telling them like what to do and what not to do man it's kind of a stressful sometimes i imagine uh, uh, un, una, un aviso parroquial teacher yes fíjese eh, a mí me dio el mismo inconveniente eh, la plataforma en la en la tarea 12, 12 o 13, creo que es la tarea, la que, la que correspondía el viernes. Ajá, ajá. Uh, na, na, it was 12. Ajá. Eh, el mismo inconveniente que le comenté la vez anterior, de que un punto, pero hoy ya intenté con todo, con quitarle la mayúscula, con quitarle el punto, con, y, y me, me decía, y como las cinco preguntas son similares, Uh -huh, tal cual uh -huh. y las, las cinco me salen mal siempre me sale el mismo inconveniente no sé si alguien más de mis compañeros ha tenido el mismo problema con, con, con esa con esa tarea yes hunger 12 specifically hunger 12 all right I'm a, I'm a check right now just give, just give me a second I need to corroborate what you're saying so probably we will find a, um, you know like an answer to those yeah. questions 12. Mándeme las por imagen, Ever, para ver si están correctas todas. Por favor. Come on, Ruth. You too? Really? Eric, ya la hizo. No, Ever, y le intentó hacer en la computadora o del celular. Bueno, en el transcurso del día empecé con, la, con el celular, eh, ya en la tarde que iba a la oficina lo hice con la computadora y me daba el mismo problema. Me, me salen las cinco malas, sí. Mm, es que la vez pasada a mí me salían malas, pero porque las estaba haciendo desde el celular y cuando las pasé en la compu me salieron buenas. Vaya, por mencionar... Es que no hecho, así que pase la copia. Vaya, por, por mencionar... Uh, homework 12, right? Where it says yeah. instructions. 
Well, write the, the first one. The, 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 uh, All right. The we, first, the first sentence says, uh, we, nos dan, we have to the sentencing in positive. Uh, y el, es lo tenemos que hacer en negativo. Entonces le ponen, her dog was dirty. Entonces, eh, All right. All right. check this out. Listen, 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 listen. Listen to the indication. It says in instruction. Write the following positive sentences into negative past tense. All right? Into negative past tense. Okay? Sí. Now, listen, listen. Since we were practicing, since we were practicing negative statements, all right, by adding not, but if you remember, we used to do that with uh, contractions, with contractions between the verb be and not. So what does it mean? It means that if you got, for example, in um, example number one, it says, her dog was thirsty, all right? It says, her dog was right. thirsty. Okay, now let's write down. Her dog wasn't thirsty. But her dog put it, her with, a, you know, like capital, the H in capital. Her dog wasn't, was, all right? And apostrophe, the T, and then thirsty, and then a, a point, a dot in there. Try it out that way. Inténtelo de esa manera. This is, this is the point. Bueno, eh, ahora en la mañana es exactamente lo que usted me intenté con la... Con la con la contracción, wasn't yeah. uh -huh. eh, medio malo. De ahí empecé, le quité el capital y lo dejé en minúscula uh -huh. y malo. De, de, del punto al final y malo. Igual y entonces de, de ahí empecé a jugar con los otros, ¿verdad? Le quité el wasn't y le, pus, y le dejé el was not, mm. tal cual. Y hice lo mismo, quité Ajá. el capira, quité el punto, empecé a jugar con los diferentes tipos de, de, de posibles respuestas uh -huh. y todas me, mal, todas me salen malas, me, me, sigue, me really? siguen dando mal. Creo que okay. voy a dar el abrazo right. a right. y me right. van a seguir saliendo mal. Let's see, let's see. This is, this is, the, this is the hunger, right? The teacher. This is the one the that you're sorry. saying. The... Uh -huh. De hecho, sí, ahorita solo he estado probando con esa, ¿verdad? Ajá. Porque eh, yo la tarea, la 12, si no la he hecho. Ajá. Sí, sinceramente. Yo ahorita que dijo Ever eso, probé con ese de Hard Dog Was Circe, este, en, de out. distintas maneras. Ajá. Sí, igual. Check this out. Let's see. Her Dog Wasn't This Way. Her... Right. Sí. Thirsty. Get it this way? Exactly. Exactly. All right. Let's 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 show up. Let's see. But I got it good. Check that out. <laughs> so check that out, man, because probably. Uh -huh. The apostrophe might be the problem because I mean the example I I'm, I'm I did it's correct. You see? Puede seguir con la siguiente, por favor. <laughs> Come sí, on, para man. que todos was, vayamos I was, aprendiendo. I was just as a model of example. I was just as a model of example. All right, you got to continue hey, with the other ones. All right, teacher, teacher, yo creo yeah. que es. No sé si es mi apóstrofe de la computadora, porque acabo de copiar tal listen. cual como lo usted lo acaba de poner y, y me sigue saliendo mal. No, listen, listen, listen. If you got the computer, listen. Si tiene en la, en la computadora, en la parte, a, a part, la parte de arriba del teclado, ¿ok? Después del cero, sí. a la par del cero, es el símbolo de pregunta, ¿ok? ¿Fine? Está el símbolo no. de pregunta. O ¿Es una desktop o es una laptop? Es una laptop. Es una laptop. Después del cero, después del cero, después del cero, tendría, tendría que tener un, un símbolo de pregunta. Presione ese símbolo de pregunta y ese es el apóstrofe. That's the correct apostrophe that you have to write down. Check that out. Yo creo, yo creo que es una, es una todas, laptop. Todas, en, todas las laptops en, deberían en, 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 
All right. A, a menos las que son de, de uh, Apple, eh, traen la estructura diferente. But that must be like that one. Mm -hmm. Check that out, Evan. Check it. Sí, entonces sí. Al detectar que es mi apóstrofe, eso quiere decir que las demás tienen que ser contractadas con, con la respuesta de construcción. Yes. Bueno, bueno, pues vamos a tratar de buscar el apóstrofe. Vamos ahí, dice, para compararla. Ah. Vamos no, ahí dice. para compararla. <laughs> no, listen, listen, listen. That's the apostrophe, the one that I'm telling you. Look, so if you got something in here, look at, look at this, Eva. This, you see, was, you see, and and the apostrophe right up, right next to the zero, you see, right next to the zero, this is the apostrophe. Okay. It is right next to the zero one. Después del cero en la sección de números abajo de las de las teclas de las F is. Below F, F11. Check. Try, try out that way, right? Try out. All right. In the meantime, Hola. and you're trying out. Uh, in the meantime, I'm going to pass the attendance, please. Hello? Okay. Clear teacher. Yeah. Okay. I search in next to class. <laughs> all right. All right. <laughs> Just, just, just give me a second. I'm going to, uh, you know, like to uh, pass the attendance, please. All right, we got, uh, we got excited with, <laughs> with the homework. Just give me a second. All right, I'm going to start. That is the fourth. All right, let's see. Ana Claribel. All right, she's not here, right? Okay. Ana María, Nayet, all right. Carlos Ademir. Present teacher. Ah, okay, very good. Uh, Eric Guillermo. Present teacher. All right, cool. Ever de Jesús. Present teacher. Okay, cool. Uh, Fatima Alejandra. Not just not here yet. Hilmar Cruz. No, okay. Not here. Okay, it's just in a second. Jonathan Alexander. Present. Uh, okay, Jorge Elvir. But he's not here yet, right? Carla Benazir. Present. Ah, okay, very good. Margot Hernandez. Uh, Margot is not here. All right. Ah, uh, really, Melissa? You got that issue? Okay. We will. We will like search on it. I'm gonna search on it. Uh, I will help you out with that. All right. Um, let's see, Maritza Alcira. I'm here, teacher. Okay, perfect. Natalie Vanessa is not here yet. Romeo Alexis, neither him. Rosa del Carmen. Present. Okay. Ruth Joanna. Present, teacher. Okay, very good. Let's see. Sara Carolina is not here. Stephanie Lisette. Not here. Vanessa Odette. Here, Vanessa's not here. All right, William Alberto. Okay, not here. Roxana Yesenia. Present teacher. Okay, very good. Nubia Zulema. Here, Nubia's not here. Jennifer Noemi. Present. Okay, good. And the last one, Diana Gabriela. 
Present. Present teacher. <risa> ok. Hey, ¿cómo es eso que, cómo es eso que hoy la, 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 la hija ella... contesta? Exactly. Ella contesta. Hoy ella me ganó. <risa> Bueno, por lo menos no dijo I don't know. <laughs> all right, that was funny. <laughs> okay, all right, there you go. Now, listen, people, listen. I don't know if your keyword is likely similar, okay, uh, right up to right up to mine. I'm I'm gonna show my 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 keyword, so probably it's gonna be sure. like like kind of similar to yours. Uh huh. Teacher, yes. solo si les, por si les sirve el apóstrofe, se saca al 0146. Puede ser que tal vez ahí les ayude. Ah, you see, that might be ah. another way. Ajá. But I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to show al you. Ajá, I'm going to show you where I take the apostrophe. All right. Probably your computer is likely similar to mine. I take the apostrophe with this. Just by pressing up this this key, I'm gonna send it to the group. That's the apostrophe. That's where I take the apostrophe. I don't know if you got it similar without like pressing any any other uh you know like any other keyword. Just check if you have the same or a similar, you know, like, like a similar keyboard. Because that must, that must be similar because right after the zero in my previous computer, I got the same. I mean, the same, the same uh, uh, position, the apostrophe. So I don't know you if you've got the same in there. All right, just, just to confirm, ¿quién tiene uh, así, 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 similar el, el teclado de su computadora, tal como el mío? Have you checked the... the, the Me. Room? All right, Carlos. All right. Okay. I sent the picture to the group, so you can check. Ah, uh, ajá, uh, pero Maritza... Eh, usted le aprieta alguna tecla como shift porque sería solo la muy tecla sin apretar ninguna combinación la muy tecla y yes. teacher ah really sí tengo que buscar o sea yo en, en mi teclado tengo que configurar si es teclado español eh, o teclado estadounidense o Reino Unido y ahí tengo que buscar en las teclas a dónde está el apóstrofe Oh, Por ejemplo, right. en el español, si tengo teclado español, lo encuentro donde está la llavecita. Ahí encuentro el apóstrofe. Si es este, si es en el americano, no me acuerdo dónde lo encuentro, pero tengo que buscarlo. No, no, no aparece así como usted explica ahí. Tienes yes, yes. de jugar con la configuración del teclado. Ajá, porque I got the, 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 I mean, the one from the English. All right, the English where it says like in parentheses United States and then Latin American keyboard. That's the one I got. That's 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 weird that that, that you have that I mean different from me, the keyboard. That is weird. That is so weird. A quien le funcionó de la manera que yo lo tengo. Just that way. All right, you Eric. Okay. Just you. Ever, what happened to you? It works. Eh, sí me funcionó. No me aparece tal cual como le aparece a usted, sino que a mí me aparece una tecla con dos rayitas. Me aparece a mí porque no tengo en, en, en la laptop. Entonces, eh, después del cero aparece una teclita con dos rayitas y ese me apareció como el apóstrofe, pero viene siendo posicionado en el mismo lugar. Ajá, ajá. Y después de ese no le aparece el símbolo de interrogación con una pequeña rayita y una como una pleca como a, al revés. No, ahorita se lo voy a compartir en el grupo. 
Yeah, yeah, because because th th that's really important that you gotta like like to take into account. Yeah, because the keyboard plays a very important role when you're doing the the homework. Yeah, because sometimes the platform that, that doesn't let you move on, and uh, your answers will be wrong if you don't put the right apostrophe. That's the problem. That is the main problem sometimes. Let me check. I mean, and thanks God we got what's up because like the whole day was not working. <laughs> and a lot of people were saying that it was just a, a problem with, uh, with the cell phone. I mean, this, this is completely different. Yeah, man, this is completely different. Es teclado árabe. <laughs> All right, let me check. You got uh you got the comment, you got a little thing, a little dot. All right. Uh, okay, all right. Now it has to be that one. So, so, so in que podrían hacer, you know what? Eh, eh, es, ever, busquen, ah. busquen mm, valga la redundancia en el buscador ahí. De Windows, sí, algo que se llama, si le dan clic en inicio, buscan mapa de caracteres. Ahí le va a aparecer este, todos los caracteres que existen y ahí pueden buscar el apóstrofe. De ahí solo lo seleccionan y le dan copiar y ya lo pueden pegar. That might be one, uh -huh. eh, Ever. Ever, let's, let's, let's do something. Why don't you try on a, with, the, with the key that is up, up, right up to um, the enter, the enter key. Ya probó con la tecla que tiene arribita de enter, ever? Teacher. Yes. Ya ahorita ya, ya, ya se solventó. Es esa tecla la que parece como dos rayitas. Esa me aparece a mí como, como apóstrofe. Y ya, ya, lo, ya lo corregí en la plataforma y ya me tomo las respuestas. And it is okay? Ah, all right. There you go. <laughs> so you see? That was Thank the you. one, right? Okay, no problem. Okay, if you have any other uh, doubts or problem with, uh, with that, just let me know in the group, okay? Just let me know in the group. All right, people. So we're going to continue with uh, the topic that we got for tonight. And if you remember last, last class, we just did an exercise, but we didn't finish reading, all right? We were supposed to read that today, okay? If you remember, we just did that activity, but we didn't, not, we didn't finish. It was um, on the manual. Let me check, and I'm going to put it up. It was related to the conversation that we practiced. If you remember, it was this one, okay? Where it says, uh, read the conversation and write the activities that happened and the ones that didn't happen. It was about this conversation, if you remember, okay? What do I really want from this? Let's just read. A couple of you are going to read the activities that you wrote in here Okay, and the activities that you didn't write. That's what we're going to do. Okay, and I'm going to start with, uh, let's see, who was the one? Jonathan, you leave early, right? You didn't do this activity. You got disconnected, right? Right after, the, uh, right before the, this activity. You were not in that activity, right? Usted no estuvo en esa actividad, ¿cierto? No. Ay, I mean, you got disconnected. Okay. All right. Good. All right, Carla. I'm going to start with you, Carla. I want you to, uh, to read what activities, okay, uh, happened, the positive activities that happened in the conversation. Let's read the ones that you wrote with your uh, classmates. Okay. 
este, de did y did it. Did, just the activities using did. Ajá, the positive ones. Teacher, es que esa no las termine. No, ok, just, just read what you have. No problem. Solo la de, la de didn't. Ah, so it means you, did, you didn't write anything in there. The positive statements you didn't finish. Yes. Okay, just read the negative statements then. Okay, and the negative is he didn't even send a receipt. Uh huh, okay. And he didn't say his name. Okay. Was it? Okay, thank you. There you go, Eric. Mentioned the, the activities that got positive in there, the activities that happened in the conversation. Okay, teacher, permítame que ni me acordaba de eso. Y ahorita la estoy viendo donde la dejé. Donde la dejé guardada. Ah, okay. Ya la encontré. Let's do it. Let's do it. And then uh, he was. Uh, so considerate. He explained everything too. And didn't, uh, didn't. Uh, the agent didn't give me a confirmation number. Mm -hmm. And he didn't even send a receipt. He didn't a receipt. Even send a receipt. Uh -huh. Okay. Finish. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that's that, that's the one that you that did that. Okay. All right. Thank you, Eric. Uh, Ever, how about you? No estuve en esa actividad, teacher. Did you leave early? Se me fue la luz como a las nueve y media. Ah, yeah. I mean, yeah no. you, you were the one. Exactly. I mean, you were the one that... that I was not in the class, now I remember. Okay, all right, man. Let's see who else was in that class. Maritza, what you got? Yes. Um, and the positive, she was <laughs> apology with a client. She called another agent. He was considered. Okay. In the negative, the agent didn't give her a confirmation number. Uh -huh. Number. And he didn't even send a receipt for what she bought. Él no le envió el recibo de lo que había comprado. Okay, for what she bought. Uh huh. Only teacher. All right, just 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 awesome. Okay, there you go. Thank you, Maritza. Fatima. Good evening. Good evening. Uh, the positive statement is one. She called another agent. Mm hmm. Second, uh, the agent was so considerate. Okay. He used didn't. Is the agent didn't say his name. Okay, good. Uh, the agent didn't kin. Wasn't kind? You mean kind. wasn't kind? kind. Uh, yes. Okay. The agent wasn't kind. Okay. All right, th th those ones were pretty much what we were discussing, right? About. Okay, good. And what was the main topic centered? What was the topic, the main topic that we were discussing last class? Let's see if you remember. How do you... All right, how to use? Pass of B, a simple pass affirmative. Okay, pass of B plus. Okay, simple pass. Okay, okay. negative actually. Negative actually. Okay. All right.
That's negative. Aha, uh -huh, because positive, we, we, we discussed that on Thursday. That was the class 11. Okay, good. And uh, what are the two forms of the verb be in simple past? Um, let's see. Hilmer, just to get connected late, let me answer that question. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> For connecting 31 minutes late to the class. What are the Sorry. two what are the two forms of the verb be in simple past? Simple past. Yes. Um, one sample. No, 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 no. I just want the name of those structures. The name of, uh, of those two structures to make the simple past. Of B of the verb B. That's all I want. The structure. Yeah, I mean the name, the name of the word. For example, for example, Herman, the simple present of B. Okay, the simple present of B is am, is, and are. How about simple past? There are two mm. words. The ones that we were creating negative uh, uh, sentences last class, Hilmer. Last class. Come on, you don't remember. <laughs> Eric is making fun of you. Look, he's smiling at you in your face. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, Ay, ¿te cree que no me pasa lo mismo a mí? Y ahorita acomodándome. <laughs> yeah, you were in blank too. <laughs> okay. Okay. Ooh, it's raining. Espero no se nos vaya la señal. Okay, Hilmar, do you find out something? All right, Hilma, if you don't remember, you can ask for help. Puede pedir ayuda. And choose, choose one person uh, that wants you to help. Um, Jorge, help me, please. <laughs> okay, Jorge, help Hilma. Hilmar, hey guys. Uh, Go on, the topic, man. The topic. Um, let me see. What I'm just uh, asking, what I'm just asking, Jorge, is just the name of the two form of the simple past of the verb B. Verb B. I uh, remember very well, but try. Um, let me see. Um, one sample of no, no, uh, just mention them, just mention them. Mention, mm. oh, teacher, so sorry. <laughs> my mind, my mind is blocking in this moment. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, Helmar, he couldn't help you. Sorry. All right, all right. Te del, te, te rimaste al palo <laughs> más, más, más viejo que Helmar, creo. <laughs> Come on, man. All right, Jorge. Choose another person to help Hilmar and you to, to, to get the answer. Another person. Ah, let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Um, maybe Jonathan. Jonathan? <laughs> Give me the simple pass of the verb B, uh, Jonathan. There are two forms. No lo he hecho. Ah? No lo he hecho. No he hecho qué, Hilmar. A mí, Jonathan. No, Jonathan. No, Jonathan. No es un S. Hilmar, creo que la vamos regando. No, Jonathan. It's not an exercise. No es un ejercicio. 
¿Cuáles son las dos formas del verbo to be en pasado simple, Jonathan? That's what I'm asking. Uh, that's what I'm asking. The two forms of the verb be in simple past. Uh, do. Uh, no, Jonathan. That's the auxiliary verb do. It doesn't have anything to do with... with uh, uh, where and was where? and where? Uh, thank you, Vanessa, and thank you, Carlos. Yeah, was and where. All right, Hilma, right, Jorge? Okay, was I and feel where? Like <laughs> <laughs> Me too. <laughs> okay, all right. I believe you, I believe you, man. Ya lo encontré. Sí, yo les escribí por WhatsApp y les dije cuáles eran. Okay, all right. Thank you, Let's Eric. remember. You was and where? Okay, was and where. Those are like the two forms of the verb be in simple past. Let's remember, we use was with I, he, she, it, and singular nouns. Like for example, if I say, Fatima was a secretary, that's a positive statement. But if you remember the past class, we were discussing negative statement. What do we do with negative statements? Just write not after was, okay? Or oh, you can make a contraction, wasn't. <laughs> like the homework that we were discussing. <laughs> okay, so in the simple past negative, I can say, let's see, mm -hmm. like Carla wasn't, listen, Carla wasn't my student. You see, Carla wasn't my student. Like, Carla no era mi estudiante. So you see, there's a simple past statement using negative, okay? With the verb be. Okay, now, where? When do we use where? Ah, we use where with you, we, they, and plural nouns. Plural nouns. And how come with plural nouns? For example, if I say Jorge, and Eric were not classmates the past module. So you see, we can, we can um, even answer those type of, of, we can even say those type of questions. Or, I mean, ex examples, give me a second. I'm gonna write them down in here, just for you to understand better. Check this out, using where. Where, let's remember, we use it with you, we, they, okay, and plural nouns. Mm -hmm. Example, he says, Jorge and Eric, okay, weren't, if you got it contracted, okay, but if you got it like kind of formal, is like, we're not. Okay, let's put this one in parentheses because this is the other option. The second option, the informal option, okay? We're not or weren't classmates the past module. You see? And I got the negative uh, statement, okay? Using plural. That in this case, we're not. Okay, we got we're not in here, and in here we got constructed, weren't. Okay, so that's the way how we use the simple past in negative using the verb be. Now, what happened with the, uh, the normal simple past? The one that we don't use, sorry, the verb be. Ah, in that case, we use the auxiliary verb do that in this case has to be in simple past. And what is the simple past of do? Did. Did, exactly, right? So if I say in, the, in an example, right? Let's put an example. Uh, if I say, I'm gonna write it down the example so you can understand me better. This is using be, okay? Now, using a simple past uh, as, a regular, as a regular activity. So if I say, I didn't know the matches. Maritza worked yesterday. This is a positive statement using simple past. 
But what happened in a negative statement? I have to write down the auxiliary verb. And which one is the auxiliary verb? Did, okay? So I say, Marita didn't, you see? Didn't, remember, is the combination between did and not, okay? Maritza didn't work. And I have the base form or the simple present form of the verb, the main verb, okay? Maritza didn't work yesterday. And you see, I got the negative statement in here, okay? I have the negative statement there. So this is the way how negative statements are created using the verb be and using deal, okay, as an auxiliary verb. Okay, now, right after this brief um, review, let's do something, okay? Just in order to continue with the next a new topic, let's solve this, this one. Give me a second. Let's solve this one in order to continue. Okay, let's do it. Let's do it in here. Let's do it in here. Check this out. It says, write the sentences using negative in simple past. In here, you have, uh, I'm sorry, people, if I had to speak a little bit louder because in here it's raining and it's raining hard. And I don't know if you're listening to me, so I had to speak a little bit louder, right? I'm sorry if I <laughs> cause any kind of noise of, uh, in your ears. I'm sorry for that. Okay, let's go on. If you don't listen to me, please let me know, okay? All right, we got example number one. In here, it says, I am satisfied with my laptop. So what you have to do is use a negative in simple past. I am satisfied with my laptop. So what is the simple past negative form from that sentence? Wasn't. All right. It wasn't. Let's do it. Check this out. I did. I... Okay, what is the past form of B that goes with I? Was. Which one? Was. Okay, but in negative, in negative, contracted. Didn't. No, the negative, negative. Wasn't. Exactly. Okay, I wasn't. Okay, I wasn't. Satisfied. Satisfied. Satisfied, uh-huh. Satisfied with my laptop. So you see, we got it in simple past negative statement. Okay. Okay, good. Let's do the rest. Hagamos las demás. Okay. I'm going to give you, let me see, one, two, three, four, five minutes to do it. Uh -huh. in, in this case, Dissatisfied change. Satisfied? Satisfied no. is in, in past. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. No. No, in that case? No, no change. It doesn't change. Okay. Yeah, in this case, it doesn't change. Satisfied. You know why it doesn't change, Maritza? ¿Sabe por qué no cambia? No. No, I don't know. Because satisfied is not a verb. Satisfied is it an adjective. It's an adjective. Okay. Yes, it's an adjective. Why? Why is an adjective? Remember, recuerde, no podemos llevar otro verbo cuando usamos el verbo to be, porque entonces sería pasado progresivo. 
Do you remember that? So, en ese caso es un adjetivo. Satisfied. Satisfied. Satisfecho. Thank you, teacher. Okay. Let's continue with the rest. Okay. I will give you. I will give you four minutes for you to do it. Use as an advice, como consejo. Si no tienen una forma del verbo to be, entonces es didn't el que van a utilizar, ¿ok? Cambiamos el verbo, ¿eh? Yeah, let's remember. If you don't have any form of the verb be, so you have to use didn't. Mm -hmm. Let me know when you finish. Ariana, you could solve the issue. Puedo resolver el detallito, Diana? Diana puede resolver el, el, el inconveniente con el internet. Okay, I think she's not there. Okay, Diana. Ready, teacher. Okay, perfect. Do you finish, people? Yes. All right, perfect. Finish. Okay, perfect. No. Okay. So let's just start. Let's just start uh, checking. The examples that you have uh, are very creative. First one I'm gonna put this. Okay, I'm going to start with uh, Fatima. Fatima, help me out doing number two. Let's read the positive statement and read the one that you created. Marta writes, a letter to her boss. Okay. Now give me the negative simple past statement. Marta didn't write a letter to her boss. Marta didn't write a letter. A letter. And 
Okay, very good, Fatima. That's correct. Okay, we got didn't in here, and we got the verb in base form. Very good, Fatima. Thank you. Okay, good. Uh, Jennifer, let's read number three. We are so happy with the food service. Uh -huh. Now the negative simple past mm -hmm. statement. We were not so happy with the food service. Mm. <laughs> like this? Yes. Okay, let's remember. We, in this case, we're not can be constructed. It can go this way, or you can write it down this right. way. Easier, this way. Okay. Where? Uh -huh. Very good. Okay, both ways are correct. Okay, let's see. Carlos, help me out reading number four, please. Uh, Pedro and me drive to the company. Okay. Past negative, Pedro and me didn't drive to the company. Pedro and me didn't drive to the company. Okay, very good, Carlos. Thank you. Thank That's you. correct. That is correct. Let me check this one over here. All right, Vanessa, help me out reading number five. The principal sends many emails. Okay. Now let's read the negative uh, simple past statement. Okay. Vanessa? Are you there, Vanessa? Hello? Okay. I think she had problems with the internet, probably. All right. Uh, let's see who can help her. Uh, Rosa, let's help her, please. The principal sent many emails uh -huh. and the principal didn't send many emails. Okay, thank you, Rosa. The principal didn't send mm -hmm. many emails. Okay, send in base form, okay, with no S. Okay, very good, Rosa, thank you. Okay, and let's read the last one. Let's read this one. It says, the program is too slow. Um, Ever, help me already, please. Okay, the last one. Uh, the program is too slow. And the past tense is the program wasn't, wasn't too slow. The program wasn't you slow this way right very good Eva. that's that's the correct one okay very nice so this is the one okay if you got them like that so then it means it is correct okay okay people good i'm going to stop in here this 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 type of presentation with the manual and let's go straight okay to the presentation because i have to to explain to you in some uh, grammar things that we got for, for the topic that we got for tonight, okay? I'm gonna stop sharing here. Uh, so in the second, I'm gonna stop in here, okay? And let's switch. Let's switch into this. 
Wanda Kuchat. All right. It says, all right, let's remember this was the video conference number 13. And today, okay, we're going to start with a simple task, but only the simple task, just no questions. Okay, just no questions. Okay, now we were discussing positive statements in simple past, then negative statements in simple past. Now is just no questions in simple past. Okay, and I'm going to explain a little bit about the structure, how to create questions, okay, and, and how to give answers just by using a yes no structure. And tomorrow we will be discussing information questions, which is something very different. All right, just, just give me one second. I'm going to move on with it. All right, we've got the class agenda, the review from the previous topic, the one that we did, then the simple past, there's no question, extra examples, a couple of exercises, and that's pretty much what we have. Now, what it really matters here, just no questions. The structure, let's start with the structure. If you remember, in the past modules, you were discussing about the uses of simple past. Okay, and when do we use the simple past? We use the simple past to talk about past actions. Mm -hmm. Something that started in the past and finished in the past. Okay, now there is one way of asking questions in which your answer is just in two models of answer. Yes or no. Okay, that's the structure that we are going to be practicing today. And this is the structure that we need to create those type of questions. We use did, which is the auxiliary verb in the past. Remember, did is the auxiliary verb. Then we got the subject. Remember, the subject can be any pronoun. It can be I, you, he, she, it, we, you, they, okay, or singular or plural nouns, okay? When we mention people, and then after the subject, remember, it goes the base form of the verb, okay? Goes the base form of the verb. And then you get the complement to make the sentence or the question in this case more specific. And after that, only the question mark, and that's it. Examples. We get we got a series of examples. Check this out. Did you work yesterday? This is a yes no question. Ah, ¿cómo identificar que es una yes no question? Porque va a iniciar con el auxiliar did siempre. Siempre que inicie con el auxiliar did. Entonces es una pregunta que se tiene que responder de dos formas. Solo hay dos opciones. Yes or no. And that's it. So check this out. Did you work yesterday? Yes, I did. Podemos decirlo nada más. O podemos dejar la oración o la respuesta en este caso así. Yes, I did. Okay. Pero podemos hacerlo de esta otra manera. Right. To make the answer a little bit longer. Yes, I did. I worked yesterday. Okay. You can do it this way too. If it is positive, of course. If it is negative, no, I didn't. Okay. That one is good. The answer in that way is good. No, I didn't. That's a short form. Ya vamos a ver más adelante las preguntas solamente con este tipo de respuesta. Now, this, is, this one is pretty longer. Este es un poco más larga. Okay. No, I didn't. I didn't work yesterday. So you see, we got two ways of answer to that question. All right. Okay, now let's look at a couple of examples. All right. Or let's give a couple of examples. Okay. Just take a look at this. Eric, did you send text messages today? No. 
I didn't. I didn't send message today because WhatsApp is offline. Was offline. Was, was offline. Was because it's a past action. It's a past. Yes, man. Okay, very good. So you see, that's a model of answer, right? Just using yes or no. Okay, let's continue with uh, some extra examples. Carla, help me on reading this question, please. Did you call um mechanic? Mechanic. mechanic. Did you call a mechanic to check your car? Okay, very good. Did you call a mechanic to check your car? Okay. Uh, Margot, help me on reading the answer, please. Yes, I did. I called the mark, the mechanic. Mechanic? Mechanic. Uh -huh. Mechanic to check my car. Okay, thank you. So that's the positive statement, right? The positive answer. All right, Vanessa, let's read the next question. Did she pay extra money? Okay, did she pay extra money? Diana, let's read the answer. No, she didn't. She didn't pay extra money. Okay, very good. Podemos hacerlo de esta manera, este tipo de respuesta. Solo recuerden que este, esta respuesta es un tanto más larga. La podemos dejar simplemente con no, she didn't. And that's okay. All right? That's going to be up to you. Ahí va a ser, va a ser decisión de ustedes. How uh, can you do it? All right? Okay. Let's see. Jonathan, let's read this question. Did we receive a report? Okay. Did we receive a report? Ruth, let's read the answer. Teacher. Ajá. Uh -huh. Quiero read. que Yes, read the answer. Did we receive a report? Okay, now the answer. Yes, we did. Okay, yes, we did. So you see, we got it that way, right? Did we receive a report? Ah, yes, we did. Thank you, Ruth. Now, let's see, Nubia. Let's read the negative. No, we didn't. Ah, okay, there you go. No, we didn't. Okay, that's the other way around, right? Just to answer with short, okay, like a structure. No, we didn't. And that's it, okay? All right, this is pretty cool. I don't know if you're taking notes or can I continue? Are you taking notes? ¿Están tomando notas o puedo continuar? Okay. okay. All right, good. So let's continue. Okay, so we got some extra examples in here. Let's, let's, let's read them all. Okay, uh, give me a signal. Natalie? Did she buy a new cell phone? Okay, did she buy a new cell phone? Thank you. Roxana? Let's read. No, she, she did. She didn't. She didn't. Ah, okay, thank you. All right, that's a negative answer, right? No, she didn't. Very good. Carlos, help me on reading that question, please. Did he send a copy of his resume? Resume? Resume. Okay. By the way, do you know what is a resume? Do, do you know? There you yes, go. Did. There you go. That's curriculum in Spanish. Resume. Okay. Yes. Thank you. Okay. Thank you, Carlos. Okay. Let's continue. Um, and we got it this way. Yes, he did, right? If it is negative, no, he didn't. Okay. Uh, Stephanie, let's read the next question. 
Did you cancel the purchase? Okay, did you cancel the purchase? All right, there you go. Okay, Diana, let's read. Yes, actually. Lo siento, leer se lo iba también. <laughs> okay, all right. Diana, let's read. Uh, the answer. Yes. Yes, I did. All right, yes, I did. That's a positive way, right? And you see, the type of answer is like very simple. That's like so simple. Okay, the last question. Uh, Hilmar, help me out, please. Did they, did they buy a new car? All right, did they buy a new car? Okay, uh, let's see who hasn't participated. Eric? No, they didn't. No, they didn't. <laughs> okay, very good. No, they didn't. So you see, that's the way how we create questions. Okay, and short answers. Okay, now I want you to do yours. Now, listen, listen. I want you to create two questions, only the questions. Okay, no answer, just the questions. One in first person, like using you. Okay, and the second one using third person, using he or she. Okay, let's do it. Para hacerlo más interesante, en vez de poner he o en vez de poner she, Escriban el nombre de un compañero suyo. Example. Did ever, listen, did ever, uh, did the home, do the homework? Did ever do the homework? So then you might say, yes, he did or no, he didn't. Just an example, right? Let's do one in third person, okay? And let's do one in first person, okay? In the meantime, when you're working, I'm going to pass the attendance list. So let's give me a second. I'm gonna move on with this. Okay, let's see, Ana Claribel. No, she's not here. Ana Maria. Present. Okay, Carlos Ademir. Present teacher. Okay, perfect. Eric Guillermo. Present teacher. Okay. Ever de Jesus. Present teacher. All right, nice. Fatima Alejandra. Present. Okay. Hilmar Cruz. Present. Perfect. Jonathan Alexander. Present. Okay, excellent. Jorge Elvir. Present. Okay, good. Let me check. Carla Benazir. Present. Very good. Margot Hernandez. Cosa. Present, teacher. Okay, good. Uh, Maritza Alcira. I'm here, teacher. Okay, perfect. Natalie Vanessa. Present. Okay, perfect. Romeo Alexis. I mean, Romeo is not here. Okay, couldn't get connected. Rosa del Carmen. Present. Okay, very good. Ruth Joana. Present, teacher. Okay, nice. Sara Carolina. All right, Sara is not connected. Stephanie Lisette. Present. Okay, good. Vanessa Odette. Present. Okay, nice. William Alberto. Right, William is not here, right? Uh, Roxana Yesenia. Present teacher. Okay, good. Nubia Sulema. Present teacher. Okay, good. Jennifer Noemi. Great. Okay, perfect. And the last one, Diana Gabriela. Present. Okay, very good. Hey, I, 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 I'm missing something when I say uh, your name, Diana, and I didn't see your daughter's voice, it looks, it, it seems weird. Uh, <laughs> ya se durmió. <laughs> ah, okay, hoy sí se durmió temprano. <laughs> sí. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that was too early for her. Okay, people. All 
Okay, I'm going to project what we were doing. Ah, yeah, this one. Okay, we stayed in this one. Do you finish the examples? You finish? Okay. I guess everybody finished. All right, so let's do the practice. What are we going to do? Just give me a second. I'm going to move on with this. Okay, I'm going to say this, this way. Okay, Eric. I want you to read your question. Okay, the first question. And as Ever, Ever is going to answer to your question. Ever has the choice to answer in positive or negative. Okay, so let's do it. Okay. Ever, did Hilmar work in a hospital? Did Hilmar work in a hospital? No, he didn't. Okay, very good. Now the first person question, Eric. Okay, the second. Yes. Okay, uh, siempre a uh, Ever? Yes. Okay. Uh, did... Vamos a ver, uh, Jennifer. Did Jennifer live in Germany? Uh, Eric, it has to be first person. First person, straight to ever. Did you, and then the compliment. Sorry. That is personal, Eric. Ah, okay, yes. yes. One person and one in third person. Eh, Permítame. Los cargador. Uh, did you live in Germany? Ah, okay. Okay, yes, I did. Okay, yeah. I live in Germany. <laughs> yes, I did. <laughs> okay, good. Thank you, Eric. Now, Ever, I want you You're to welcome. read your, your questions and Maritza is going to answer. Okay, Maritza. Did you go to the supermarket? Mm, yes, I did. Okay, okay. now the third person question. Uh, did Rose make a good cake? Mm, yes, she didn't. Yes, she did. Nah, okay, yes. Sí, porque ahí estaba... Dando positivo y a la vez negativo. All right. Thank you, Maritza. Uh, Ever, thank you. All right, Maritza. Now, read both questions and Fatima is going to answer. Fatima, did you stay in class? Yes, I did. Okay. Um... Did Jonathan watch TV? No, he didn't. Okay. No. Okay, very good. Thank you, Maritza. Mm -hmm. Now, Fatima, read both questions and Hilmar is going to answer. Okay. Hilmar, did you buy a new computer? Uh, yes. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. Okay. Okay. Uh, did Stephanie go to work today? Repeat, please. Did Stephanie go to work today? Yes, I did. <laughs> <laughs> sure. Yes. Yes, <laughs> he he did. Ah, he? No, she did. <laughs> okay, okay, she did. All right, let's pay attention to the subject. Okay, thank you, Fatima. Now, Hilmer, let's read both questions, and Carla is going to answer. Okay. All right, just give me a second. Just give me a second. Y para los demás people, para los demás que tienen la cámara apagada, por favor, encendámosla, please. 
Okay, uh, if you're doing this activity, I would like you to get the cameras on just for, um, just for this activity, okay? Just, just to see you for this activity. All right, Hilmar, continue. ¿A quién dijo? A uh, Carla. Carla is going to answer. Carla, okay. Yes. Eh, ¿Puedo hacer en segunda persona ¿verdad? o el nombre, verdad? Uh, yeah, I mean, in second person is actually like the first person. Recordemos que cuando usamos you, básicamente es, estamos preguntando como en una segunda persona, pero respondemos como a first person. Ah, ok, muy bien. Carla dijo, ¿verdad? ¿no? Yes. Ok. Did you have a good weekend? Good. Yes, I did. Ok. Nice. Uh, vamos a ver. Uh, did Eric help you yesterday afternoon? Repeat, please. Did Eric tell you yesterday afternoon? Did she? Okay, all right, all right. Did Eric, did Eric? Eric, ah, okay. Did Eric? Continue, Hilmar. Did Eric call you yesterday afternoon? All right, did Eric call you? Yesterday afternoon? No, he didn't. <laughs> okay. 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 Yeah. Y Eric así como... Okay. Yo le dije que no contara. Ah, okay. Ya la Ya no se exhibió. Okay. Thank you, Hilmar. Now, Carla, let's read Buffett uh, questions. And Jennifer is going to answer. Okay. Uh, Jennifer, uh, did Roxana send the package? She didn't. Uh, let's read the answer again, Jennifer. No, she didn't. Ah, okay. No, she didn't. Okay. Okay. Uh, next. Did you cancel the ticket? Yes, I did. Yes, no, I did. Okay, very good. Okay. So thank you, Carla. Now, Jennifer, let's read both examples and Nubia is going to answer. <laughs> Nubia, did you work on Saturday? No, I didn't. Okay. Okay. Did uh, did Eric leave the country last year? Did Eric? Did Eric leave the country last year? Yes, he did. <laughs> he was he was going to 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 the country of nowhere. <laughs> okay, no, forget about it. Jennifer, thank you. Now, Nuria, let's read the questions and Margot is going to answer. Okay. Margot, did you call your mom today? Repeat, please. Did you call your mom today? I don't know. Mm. Okay, all right. Listen, listen, Margot. Did you call your mom today? Mm. Um, no entiendo toda la frase. <laughs> okay, all right. Listen, no. listen, 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 Margot. Did you call, call, right? Your mother, your mom, okay, today? Mm, yes. I did. Okay. Yes, I did. Okay, very good. There you go. Okay. Second question, Nubia. Another question is, did Andrea eat at a resta restaurant tonight? Okay, let's, let's repeat, Nubia. Okay. 
did Andrea eat uh, a resta restaurant tonight? In a restaurant. Porque así literal está diciendo que se come en restaurante. <laughs> yeah, we need to write down the, the in. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Did Andrea eat in a restaurant, Margot? Mm, perdón. All right. Did Andrea eat in a restaurant? Um, no, no. Okay. okay. No, she, no, she did, did not. Sí, ¿verdad? Okay. Oh, no, she didn't. The contracted. No, okay. She, okay. Okay. okay, no, she didn't. All right, good. So, thank you, Nubia. Okay. Now, Margot, let's read the examples that you did. And Vanessa is going to answer. Uh, did, did Vanessa bought uh, cross, cross, cross cereals? How do you pronounce cereals? Uh, cereal? Cereal? Uh, cereal. Uh -huh. Did... did Vanessa bat serious? Ah, did uh, okay. Did, did Vanessa oh. buy cereal? Uh, sorry. Yes. Yes, she did. Yes, he did it. Ah, ah, okay, 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 good. Uh, let's let's read again, Vanessa. Let's let's say again. Sorry. Let's repeat again, please. Yes. I did. Ah, mm, pero en ese caso es de otra Vanessa. Ah, ok. <laughs> yes, good. she did it. Yes, she did. Ok, yes, she did. Ok, very good. Margot, second question. Ahora una que, que eh, eh, se use you, Margot. Um, Okay. <laughs> ¿Cómo me cuesta, teacher? <laughs> All right, no problem, no problem. I'm going to help you, okay? Le voy a ayudar. Okay. 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 Vamos a comenzar utilizando el auxiliar did, okay? Luego you. Okay. Did you? Okay, ahora necesitamos un verbo que indique la acción que va a preguntar. ¿Qué verbo usaría? Mm. <laughs> uh, sí. ¿Cuál? Oh, I did that. that right. Did you? ¿cómo se dice? Okay. Did you? Y luego simplemente mencioneme un verbo. Un verbo. Camin caminar. Ah, did you walk? Walk uh, in the park. Uh, in the park. park. In the park. Okay. Did you work in the park? Repítalo. Did you in Okay, okay. Did you work? Work? Walk in the, uh, in the park? In the park? Okay, did you walk in the park, Vanessa? No, I didn't. Okay, very good. Thank you, Margot. Okay. You did it good. Now, Vanessa, let's read both examples and Jonathan is going to answer. Okay. Jonathan, did you... Did you do your homework after class? Aha. Uh -huh. You got the microphone off, Jonathan. <laughs> no, I didn't. Okay, that's being honest. <laughs> that's being honest. Yeah, he didn't do it. Okay. Next question. Okay. Uh, did Maritza study English in English Corporativo? Nice. Yes, she did. She did. Okay, yes, she did. Very good. Thank you, Vanessa. Now, Jonathan, ask the questions and Jorge is going to answer. Did you buy a uh, new shoes? Okay. Did you buy new shoes? 
Sorry, I, I am another busy in my work. Um, no, no, I didn't. I didn't. Okay. Okay. The Gilmer repair uh, computer. Uh, yes, I did it. Uh, listen, listen to the question. Listen to the question. Jonathan, repeat the question. The Gilmer repair computer. Um, uh, yes. He did it. Uh, oh. Eso es como decir sí, no lo hace. <laughs> ah, eh, yes, I did it. Nah, yes, he did. Ah, yes, I did. Let, let's okay. remember, right? Yes, okay. he did. Okay, Jorge. Thank you, Jonathan. Now, Jorge, read your example questions and Carlos is going to answer. Tengo solo una consulta, tío. Ok, go on. ¿Conocen? ¿Se conocen? Se dice they know. ¿Se conocen? Uh -huh. Do you know o did you know? En este caso, si es se conocen, es presente simple. Do you know each other? Mm. Ok. Me la voy a escribir oh, en el bueno. chat. Check. Ok. No, no, no problem. I, 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 Hago mi pregunta y me corrige okay. si lo estoy haciendo. Okay. Okay. All right. eh, número uno es, do you eat ice cream today? Ok, good. No, I didn't. Very good. Ok. And the last is, did Eric and Carla, they know? They know? Uh, en ese caso, entonces, Jorge, hay que eliminar they, porque okay. ya está mencionando Jorge and Carla. Ok, eh, sería entonces no, only no. All right, let's no, repeat. Let's re ok, eh, give me a second, Carlos. Let's repeat, uh, Jorge. Did Eric and Carla. Uh -huh. eh, the verb. <laughs> es la, no. Uh, uh, uh -huh. Ahora el verbo. No. Uh, ahí me quedé. <laughs> Now, you, use the verb. Ok, listen. Okay. Did okay, yes. Which one were the person, the people? Eric and Carla. Okay, Eric and Carla know each other. Uh, each other. Did mm. Eric and Carla know each other? Okay. okay. My God, give me a second. I'm giving, I, I'm, I'm texting all this to, to, <laughs> to just, just to my addicts, I think. Give me a second. I'm going to put it in the, in a direct for everyone. Okay. There you go. This is the way. Do Eric and Carla know each other? Know each other. Yes. Know each other. Se conocían Eric y Carla? All right, Carlos, uh, okay. what's the answer? No, they didn't. Okay, very good. Thank you, Jorge. Now, Carlos. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Too. Read your questions, and Ana Maria is going to answer. Uh, did you cook the dinner? Mm, yes, I did. Okay, good. Okay. Uh, did Jaime and Anna wash the car? No, they didn't. Ah, okay, very good. Thank okay. you, Carlos. Now, Ana Maria, let's read mm -hmm. both examples and Roxana is going to answer. Okay, Roxana, do you walk and walk, the caminar walk? Eh, in the in the beach on the beach on the beach or at the beach but 
Roxana. <laughs> yes, I did. Okay. Uh, 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 how was the question? Do you walk in on the beach? Ah, okay, very good. Second question. Uh, did Nubia cook spaghetti yesterday? Ah. No, she didn't. Okay, very good. Thank you, Ana Maria. Now, Roxana, let's read okay. both questions and uh, Diana is going to answer. Um, Diana, did give, me you give, hmm? give, give me a second. Is Diana there? Hi, Diana. Yes. Ah, I was just watching the roof. <laughs> okay, Roxana, <laughs> let's repeat the questions. Do you do dancing in the house? Uh, did you dance? Dance in the house. Okay, very good. Yes, I did. Okay. Did your teacher have a laptop new? Uh, new laptop. New, uh, did your teacher have a new laptop? A new laptop? Uh -huh. um, yes, he did. Okay, very good. Thank you, Diana. I don't have a new laptop, right? But, but um, that's a positive <laughs> thing. So sad. So sad. Probably in the next payment. <laughs> okay, <laughs> Roxana, thank you. Now, Diana, let's read uh, your questions and Natalie is going to answer. Okay, Natalie, did you room yesterday for the night? Uh, run, run. Uh, run, perdón. Did you run yesterday for the class? Yes, I did. Ah, she's usually up late. To every class. My God. Ah, question number two. Um, do you ever walk in the street today? On the street today? Okay. On the street today? No, he didn't. All right, no, he didn't. He flied. There you go, in a car, of course. All right, thank you, Diana. <laughs> now, Natalie, Natalie, let's read your questions. And uh, who's missing? Stephanie Rutia is going to answer. Okay. Uh, did she cook the diner? Dinner. Uh, dinner. Did she cook the dinner? Yes, she did. Okay. Uh, did you inform of the meeting? Um, no, I didn't. No. Okay. Very good. Thank you, Natalie. Now, uh, Stephanie. Okay. Let's. Okay, let's read your questions and Ruth is going to answer. Um, okay. Uh, did, did, did she go to a party yesterday? Que yo que. <laughs> Did she go to a party yesterday? Uh, no, no, I didn't. No, she, she is a third person. Ah, okay. No, she did. Eh, no sé. Didn't. Didn't. No, she didn't. Okay, good. Second question, Ms. Stephanie. Okay. And did, did you read the newspaper? Last night? No, no entiendo. ¿Qué me preguntó? Did you Did read, you read ah, ajá, the ajá. newspaper last night? The newspaper, like la prensa gráfica, el diario de hoy, el Salvador newspaper. That's a newspaper. 
No, she didn't. No, she did. No. No. I. Not I. Uh -huh. I didn't. Uh, okay, good. No, I didn't. Very good, Ruth. No. There you go. Thank you, Stephanie. Now, let's see who's last one. Rosa, did you participate already? I'm not pretty sure. No. All right, there you go. Now, Ruth, let's read your questions and Rosa is going to answer. Dicha, pero solo una he hecho. No sabía que eran dos. No, okay. Read it. Uh, uh, did you sleep well last night? Did you sleep well last night? Okay. Yes, I did. Uh -huh. Very okay. good. Okay, now, hagamos otra a Ruth usando ya sea he or she. O puede usar un nombre de, de uno de sus compañeros. Y siempre es do you no. Did, did, no. Did, ah, did, did, perdón. Ajá, did. Did, y luego el nombre de uno de sus compañeros. Uh, did Eric. Okay, did Eric. Did Eric. Hungry. Uh, no, 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 no. Let's, let's use it. Porque hungry es como un adjective. Entonces, lo podemos conjugar, pero con el verbo to be. Aquí necesitamos otro, un verbo que indique acción, Ruth. A verb that indicates action. Did mm, Eric uh, runner? Uh, en ese caso sería run. 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 Did okay. Eric uh, run yesterday? Solamente run. Yesterday. Did Eric run yesterday? Repeat. Did Eric run yesterday? Okay, very good. No, he didn't. <laughs> yeah, man, he doesn't have time to run. Okay, thank you, Ruth. Very good. Now, Rosa, let's finish the cycle. Let's ask your questions to Eric. Porque Eric solo preguntó, pero no respondió. Did you drive to work today? No, I didn't. Did Nicole buy a new computer? Repeat, please. Did Nicole buy a new computer? No, she didn't. No, nah, okay, very good. Thank you, Rosa. And thank you, Eric. So we have finished the short practice of uh, your examples. Now, let's run into the manual, okay? Let's work in the manuals, okay? Give me a second. I am just going to project you the manual in the exact pages that we are going to be working on, okay? Check this out. What are we going to do in this case? Listen. Let's read these two articles. It says, read Mrs. Mendoza and Mr. Torres describe their experiences with two different companies. Okay? What are we going to do? Ustedes me ayudarán a leer esta vez. How are you going to help me reading? one by one okay and i'm going to start with uh, natalie help me out reading this part okay let's start reading this part okay. eh, todo eso teacher o oh. uh, no solo una parte yo le voy a decir cuando se detenga okay y otra persona va a continuar ah, okay there you go i have a problem with the payroll okay. system but a technician, technician? Uh -huh. came to help technician came, came to help me with it. Okay, very good. Uh, Stephanie, let's continue. Mm. 
Mrs. Rutia, are you there? Alguien se durmió. Mrs. Rutia, are you there? Nah, she, she went away from there. Bueno. Hola, lo siento, es que no podía quitarle el mute. Dije. <laughs> okay, okay. Now, let's continue reading. He. He solved it, but they didn't say anything. Uh -huh. He even changed me. Church me? Uh -huh. For a piece he broke. Okay, for a piece he broke. Okay, thank you. Ana Maria, continue the reading. He gave mm, me a, co a copy of the report, but I didn't understand it. Okay, thank you. Jennifer, continue. Besides all that, I forget to mention that for the, he... I forgot. Forget, forgot, forgot to mention that he come came, very late. Came, came very late. Very late. Came, okay, very good. Very okay, late. people. From here, de este primer párrafo, hay alguna palabra que no comprendamos? Is there a word that you don't understand? Payroll. Payroll. Payroll is, 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 is el sistema es de el área de pago. pago. Yes. Mm -hmm. Es el área de pago. All right. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, I mean, that what we know in here by planilla. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's the payment system. And besides, besides. besides. A ellos a cada rato los molesto yo en mi oficina. <laughs> <laughs> ¿Qué será? It, it, literally, it's known like nómina de sueldos, right? O planilla in here. Mm -hmm. That's what it is. Okay? Good. Besides, además de, aparte de, además. That's besides. Besides all that. Aparte de eso. Okay. Ah, oh, okay. Forgot. Thank you. Forgot es el pa la forma pasada del verbo forget, de olvidar. Right? Forgot. Technician. Technician. Técnico. Technical. Yes. Any other vocabulary word that you do not understand? Gave. Gave. All right. Gave is the past form of the verb give, que significa dar. Es la forma pasada del verbo give. 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 All right. Yes. Right. And came is the past to come. So to come. Which one? Came. Yes. Came is the past form uh, of the verb come. Okay. But a technician came to help me with it. Pero un técnico vino a ayudarme con ello. All right. Any other word? Okay. If you don't have any other word, let's continue with the second paragraph, okay? Vamos a continuar con el segundo párrafo. Eric, help me a reading. Mr. Torres. I had a problem with the car, with the car engine. Okay. So I call for assistance. Okay, thank you. Nubia, help me a reading. Okay. The mechanic was re really kind. He was there really fast and he was quick to fix my car's problem. Okay, there you go. My car's problem too. Okay, thank you, Nubia. Now, uh, Fatima? He gave, he gave me details about the uh, Incident and okay. he gave details, details, details uh -huh. about the incident, and he gave me he gave me a report 
of it. A report of it. Report of it. Okay. Thank Dang. you. Thank you, Fatima. <laughs> All right. Hilmar, help me a reading. Okay. Then. Uh -huh. Then. I, I start. I started. I started. The engine and everything was perfect. Okay, very good. And everything was perfect. Any question with the vocabulary from this article? Alguna palabra que no comprendamos? Something that might be a noun for you? The kind. Kind. The uh, kind. Kind. Kind is an adjective que significa amable. Or kind. Okay, any other word? Any other word that might be a problem for you people? Alguna palabra que no comprendamos? Engine. Cars engine. engine, motor. Motor de carro, cars engine. Fix. Fix, arreglar, reparar. Yo encendí el motor. Ajá. Luego encendí el motor y todo marchó perfectamente. All right, so we don't have any other word. Okay, good. Let's continue with this. Okay, because right after we read the articles, in here we got two questions. Uh, let's read question number one, Maritza. Um, sorry, teacher. Read the question number one. Did Mr. Mendoza have a uh, problem? Mrs. Mrs. Mendoza is a woman. Sorry, teacher. Okay. Did Mrs. Mendoza have a problem with a method of payment? Okay. Yes or no? That's the way, that's the answer that you have to write down there. Yes, she didn't. Yes, she did. All right. Did Mrs. Mendoza have a problem with a method of payment? Okay, let's go for it. Mrs. Mendoza, I had a problem with the payroll system. Okay, since she said payroll system, it means that she got a problem with the method of payment. So, yes, she did. Very good, Marisa. She did. Very good. Okay, second question. Ever, let's read. Second question. Did Mr. Torres call his best friend for help? Okay. Did he, in this case, did Mr. Torres call a friend for help? No, he didn't. No, no he didn't, right? He called a mechanic. Mm -hmm. Very good. All right. There you go. Very good. So in this one, it's no, he didn't. Okay. He called a mechanic to help fix the problem. Okay, let's go down. Let's go down with the questions. This one. Okay, this is just, just uh, part of the examples that we were doing with the presentation. You see, just no questions and short answers. Okay, this is just uh, as a model of like taking, you know, like those type of examples from there. Vanessa. Help me at reading the first question. Did you call a mechanic to check your car? Okay, you see, two ways of answer. Yes, I did. Yes, yes. Or no, I didn't. The negative. Okay, thank you, Vanessa. Now, uh, Margot, 
read the second question, please. Did she pay extra money? Okay, thank you, Margot. So let's remember the answer. Yes, she did or no, she didn't, okay? Then question number three, Jonathan. Let's read. Did we receive a report? All right, did we receive a report? Let's remember. Yes, we did or no, we didn't, okay? There you go. Uh, let's finish it, Ana Maria. The they sing the letter. Sign the letter. Sign the letter. Okay. Did they sign the letter? Ana Maria, you know what is sign? Enviar. No, sign. Sign. Firma. Exactly. Firmar. Exactly. Sign it. Sign. sign. Yeah. Yeah. It comes, it comes from the word signature. Signature is the noun. Okay. Sign is the verb. There you go. Yeah. Yes, they did if it is positive. No, they didn't if it is negative. Okay? Good. Now, people, what are we going to do? Listen up. If you can see here, we got five, five short questions. Okay? What are we going to do with these questions? Listen. ¿Qué vamos a hacer con estas preguntas? Acá ustedes tienen la respuesta. Nos falta la pregunta, ¿ok? La pregunta tiene que ser en base al yes, no question, pero también tiene que ser en base a esta re respuesta que tenemos acá. Example, people. Dice acá, yes, I did. I sent the email. ¿Ok? ¿Cómo sería, cómo sería la pregunta, entonces? Did you send the email? Did you send the email? Hey, email. Very good. Here you go. Check this out. Did you send the email? You see? And you got the question here. Did you send the email? Good. Now, listen. What do I really want from you? Ahora, ¿qué vamos a hacer? Since we are, let me see, how many people are we right now in this class? Let me check. We got 19 people. All right. What are we going to do? Listen. Les voy a dar estos siete minutos que tenemos de clase. All right. Exactly at 10, 30, uh, 10 o'clock. We're going to finish with this activity. I'm going to give you five minutes for you to complete this one with another person. Les voy a dar cinco minutos para que lo hagan con otra persona. Revisen sus respuestas. Y luego, lo demás de minutos lo vamos a usar para practicar estas preguntas al igual que las respuestas, ¿ok? But exactly at 10, I'm going to finish the activity, ¿ok? Ahorita les voy a mandar entonces a trabajar en pareja, ¿ok? Let's do these activities, these questions. Terminemos las preguntas en pareja y luego vamos a practicar esas preguntas con el tiempo que nos queda, ¿ok? There you go. Give me a second. Since we got 19 people and I'm going to have nine groups. I'm going to got 10 groups. Let me check. Two, two. I've got two here. I got two. All right. And Maritza. Maritza Sita. I'm going to get it. Okay, good. Let's go to work. Okay, this this couple of minutes that are missing. Let's do the examples, questions, and then practice it. Let's go to it. Let's accept it. All right, Diana, Rosa, Ruth. Vamos a aceptar. Diana. Are you there, Diana? 
Hello. Okay, perfect. ¿Qué página es? Remember. La número dos. No. Teacher. Yes. Y, y en este caso, teacher, que lleva dos, este, didn't. Ah, dos didn't. Ajá, en las no, dos. No, eh, las, las de, vaya, no they didn't es la respuesta. La, uh -huh. lo, demás, lo demás es para que usted identifique cómo va a ser la pregunta. ¿A qué se refiere la pregunta? Uh -huh. Simplemente es a qué se refiere la, pregun la, la pregunta para que usted sepa formularla. ¿Ok? Uh -huh. En base a esto vamos a formular la pregunta. That's correct, exactly. Uh -huh. Es como, en el, es como en el primer ejemplo. Dice, mire, yes, I did. I sent the email. Ah, por eso la pregunta era, did you send the email? Simplemente mm. para que usted identifique cuál es el verbo que va a usar en la pregunta. y ¿Qué es lo que va a poner? ¿Ok? Ok, teacher, gracias. All right, very good. Let's continue working. Entonces, la segunda quedaría... Di Escucho. Teacher. Hi. Only one dude in the third, yes, third question. Okay, uh -huh. Good. Hemos puesto did car turn on the game? O sería did the car turn on the game? All right, Would let's that? see. It says, yes, it did. The car uh -huh. turned on again. Uh -huh. Did mm -hmm. the car turn the on car. again? Pero turn sin ed. Mm -hmm. so turn on. Uh -huh. Very good. Yeah, that's the question. Is did the car? Did yes. the car? Yes. yes. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Good. Yo que le dije que no era así. Let's continue. Okay. Okay, thank you. All right. Okay. Ya, 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 ya la puedo ver. La primera sería. Did, did you send the email? Number two. Did they check the pack, package? Package. Package. Did you send? Did, la otra okay. sería. Ayúdame, teacher. <laughs> okay, number three <laughs> dice: Yes, it did. It, de lo que se refiere a it, recuerde, es algo que no tiene vida, un objeto. Dice: uh -huh. The, uh, let's see, the car, right? The car turn on again. Entonces, ¿cómo sería la pregunta? It did, did it. Did, pero en este caso coloquémosle el nombre a lo que se refiere. Did, did car. the car. Did the car, ajá. Uh -huh. turn, turn it did on the again. Car. El verbo ahí está en pasado. Recuerde que en la pregunta no se turn. puede poner en pasado. Yeah, turn, turn. turn. With no ed. Okay. Did uh -huh. the car turn on again? Uh -huh. Very good. Okay, let's skip it. Let's let's go to the next one. Okay. Good. Did we need? We. Ya terminamos. Ya ¿Ven? ya no lo necesitamos. <laughs> <laughs> No le pongo calificación, entonces ya me voy. No, mire, espérese. <risa> ah, ¿verdad? Ahora sí. What happened? 
No, ahí solo, bueno, por ejemplo, en la segunda vimos que dice, este, la, 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 la pregunta sería, did they check the package, ¿verdad? Yes. Y en la tercera dice, ahí tengo mi duda, porque dice, did it car turn on um, again? No, pero si ve, yes, it did, solo es la respuesta a la pregunta. Lo demás mm -hmm. es para que usted se guíe y pueda formular la pregunta. Uh -huh. Tenga una idea a qué se refiere. Entonces en la pregunta no va a ir it. Solo car. It yeah. car. Ah, ah. Ok. Tenía deal. mi duda. Por eso le dije que tenía mi duda ahí. Entonces sería deal the, the car. car. Deal the, the car. car. Uh -huh. Ah, deal the car. Uh -huh. Yes. Y luego el verbo the en forma car. base. Ahí está en pasado el verbo. Tiene que ponerlo en forma base. Tor. Yes. Sin el ED, sin el ED. Exactly, exactly. Yes. Vaya, ya ve que ya aprendí. Good, good. There you go, that's the way. All right. Creo okay. que es... Sí. Y el otro. Ajá. También otro... en, la, en la cuatro, Ana María. De receive. Ajá. Sí, ahí le, ya le borré el ED. No. Did we never receive uh -huh. a copy? Ah, ahí solo tiene the... que eliminarle... Ahí solo tiene que eliminarle la D, Ana María. Solo la D. Ah, sí, es Receive, la ajá, hasta la E es el verbo en forma base. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Y la última dice, did, did he, ¿qué es ese boat? Es el pasado de by. Ah. Oh. <risa> Entonces es by. <risa> yes, boy. That's the past, that's the past new form of by. It's by. Uh -huh. Pero la idea ya la tenemos, teacher. <risa> Me pone 10, por favor. La idea es que le voy a poner 10, ¿verdad? <risa> no, la idea ya la tenemos y usted mm. me pone el 10 <risa> sin la idea. Ah, ok, ok. I will, I will. All right, let's go back. Creo que ya terminaron todos, así que let's Vaya. go back to the main section, ¿ok? okay? Bye, bye. Okay. Hey, what's up with the other people? Uh -huh, they didn't finish. That's why they are not getting into it. Ya les va a sacar la aplicación. Ah, you see, they are coming. Todavía no. Hasta no han regresado. La, hasta que la aplicación lo sacó. Al estilo WhatsApp. Present, present. <laughs> present, present. <laughs> present. <laughs> okay, let's see. Did everybody came back? Let me see. 19 people. Hey, one is missing. Se nos escapó uno. ¿Quién se nos fue? Let me see. Carlos, Stephanie, Ruth, Jennifer, Rosana, Rosa. Uh, I don't remember who, 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 who didn't. Okay, but anyways, let's continue. I'm going to project in here just to check the answers that you got, okay? Uh, when we finish this, we're going to finish the class, right? Okay, number one, we did number one, if you remember. It was, uh, uh, yes, I did. I sent the email, right? The question was, did you send the email okay that was the question now, now let's see i'm gonna ask one specific person uh stephanie can you please read the answer and then read the question that you have um the the, the answer number the answer two uh -huh. number two the answer mm -hmm. first okay uh, did they no first the answer uh, and then the question 
Primero la respuesta. No, they didn't. Pregunta. Ok, ajá. No, they didn't. They didn't check the package. Ok, now, what is the question? Um, did they check the package? This way? Sí. Did they check the package? Good. El resto, ¿lo tienen de esta manera la respuesta? I mean, la pregunta. Sí. Sí. Very, very good. Yeah, that's the way. Ya puede, very Stephanie. <laughs> okay. Sí, ya me voy a graduar. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes. Okay, good. Let me see who else. Um, Hilmar, let's read number three. Read the answer and then the question. Okay. Did the car turn them turn on again? Okay, okay. I, I was expecting the answer and then the question, but anyway. Okay, let's see. Did the car turn or or Turn on again. Again. This way. Turn es así. Así lo tiene. O con ED. Sí. No sin ED. This way. Okay. Todos lo tienen así. So everybody got it like that. No. Yes. Okay. All right. There you go. Very good. That's the way. Good. Thank you, Hilmar. Now, let's see. Is, 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 is it Rosana here? Rosana, Rosana. Ah, Rosana is the one. Let me see. Yeah. Rosana, let's no, the next one. No, we didn't. Ajá. Uh -huh. Did we, we... We never... We never received... A copy of the rec receipt. Receipt. Okay. Receipt. Not the question, Roxana. Did we? Mm -hmm. Receive. Uh -huh. A copy. Uh -huh. Of the receipt. You get it this way? Así la tiene, Roxana? Yes. Okay, do you have it this way, people? Así la tienen? Oh, uh, you have it different. O hay alguien que la tiene diferente? No? Okay. All right, let's suppose you got it this way. Because that's the correct way. Did we receive a copy of the receipt? Okay, there you go. Let's read the last one, okay? And uh, for this one, Carlos is going to help me up. Read the answer and then the question, Carlos. Yes, he did. He bought a new tier, tire. Tire, very good. The question, did he buy a new tire? Did he buy a new tire? Okay, very good. Thank you, Carlos. Yeah. Did he yes, buy yes. a new tire? Yes. In the question number four. Uh -huh. What no use never in the question? Okay, in this case, let's check this out. Did we receive a copy of the receipt? Okay, like, ¿recibimos una copia del recibo? Ah, no, we didn't. No, no lo hicimos. We never received a copy of the receipt. Nunca recibimos una copia del recibo. So you see, es otra forma. Listen, cuando usamos never, recordemos que never es una palabra negativa. Y cuando usamos never, ya no necesitamos colocar un auxiliar que indique negación. 
como en este caso el didn't. El did plus not indica negación, ¿ok? Entonces, cuando colocamos never, básicamente y ahí la oración no necesita del didn't. Con simplemente llevar never, ya la oración es negativa. No podemos, no podemos no escribir po dos negaciones exacto. en la pregunta. Exacto. Nunca podemos poner no y luego también nunca. O sea, it doesn't make sense. ¿Ok? Entonces, por ese caso, esa es la razón por la cual lleva never. Y no lleva didn't. ¿Ok? Very good, people. If you got it this way, so then you are correct. Listen. Entonces, uh, vamos a quedarnos hasta acá con esos ejercicios. Solo eh, les voy a recordar que en la parte de la plataforma, en la discussion section, okay, les voy a escribir un par de oraciones ahí que las cuales las quiero que ustedes me las uh, hagan preguntas. Ok, en just no questions. Algo similar a esto, ok. Colocaré el tipo respuesta y usted me va a escribir la pregunta. Eso es lo que voy a dejar en la discussion section de la plataforma, ¿ok? Just, just for you to do it, ¿ok? Recuerden, si tienen alguna duda con respecto a ello o parte de las tareas que están haciendo, just let me know in the group, ¿ok? There you go. So, I'm going to stop in here. I'm going to pass the attendance list and then we can leave. All right, let's keep going. Ana Claribel didn't show up today. Ana María. Ana María. Present. Ah, okay. Hmm. Carlos Ademir. Present. No, okay, good. Ah, Eric Guillermo. Present teacher. Okay, perfect. Ever de Jesús. Present. Ok, good. Fátima Alejandra. Present. Nice. Hilmar Cruz. Present. Very good. Jonathan Alexander. Did Jonathan leave? No. Ok. Uh, let's see. Jorge Elvir. Present. Ok, excellent. Marcos Hernández. Present, teacher. Very good. Maritza Alcira. I'm here, teacher. Good. Natalie Vanessa. Present. Very nice. Romeo didn't show up. Rosa del Carmen. Present. Okay. Ruth Joanna. Present, teacher. Okay. Sara Carolina didn't show up. Stephanie Lisset. Present. Okay, excellent. Vanessa Odette. Present. Okay, good. William Alberto. All right, he didn't show up. Roxana Yesenia. Present, teacher. Okay, thank you. Nubia Zulema. Present, teacher. Okay, Jennifer Noemi. Present. Okay, and the last one, Diana Gabriela. Present. All right, people. Uh, just before going up, Ah, uh, let's see, Natalie. Where's Natalie? Hi. Right, Natalie. Uh, you didn't you didn't have the ten minutes feedback last week, right? Okay. You're gonna stay uh, with me today, then. Okay. Good. Okay. Uh, with the ten minutes feedback. Okay. For the rest, thank you for showing up to this class, people, and see you tomorrow. Okay. Bye bye. Have tomorrow. a wonderful night. Good night, everybody. Good night. Good night. Con la emoción night. que tengo, buenas yeah, noches. Bye. <laughs> buenas noches, con bye, esta emoción. Ya, yeah, man, bye bye. Nos vemos, bye bye. Bye bye. bye. <laughs>
No me conocía. Ya, yeah, I mean, I didn't know you. No la conocía. Exactly. All right, Natalia. Uh, we're going to have the 10 minutes feedback, you know, just to clarify any question or any doubt that you might have with this topic and the previous topics, okay? Okay, teacher. So, Yo prácticamente tengo duda con el tema de May o May, no sé cómo se pronuncia. Y May, May and Might. Ajá. Uh -huh. Ah, no, May and Might, actually. May and Might. Ajá. Uh -huh. All right. Let me see. I'm going to expand this one over here. So we got May and we got Might. All right. May and might, más que todo son para, uh, son, son, ok, uh, verbos modales o verbos que necesitan de otro verbo principal para tener una lógica en una oración, ok. Generalmente estos son verbos auxiliares, ok. Actúan como verbos auxiliares, ¿por qué? Se les, ¿Por qué se actúan como un verbo auxiliar? Porque necesitan de otro verbo para tener significado en una pregunta o una oración. Uh -huh. May and might generalmente se utilizan para eh, solicitar permiso de una manera formal. Right? In a very polite way. Example. Check this out. If I ask a question. May I go out with my friends? It's like, ¿puedo salir con mis amigos? Like, may I go out with my friends? That's when you request permission very polite, politely, right? Mm -hmm. Might I, you see, change this class? Might I change this class? ¿Podría cambiar esta clase? O sea think? que may es puedo. Mm -hmm. Y might es podría. Exactly, right? Pero ambas, ambas son para denotar posibilidad a futuro. Y también para denotar o para pedir solicita, o solicitar permiso. Okay? Mm -hmm. Yeah, like, like to, you know, like to, to talk about permission. All right? May I change this class? Okay. That's one, mm -hmm. right? Now, it's asking for permission. Okay. ¿Ha escuchado esa famosa frase? Like, may I... May I go to the bathroom, please? Sí. You see? Entonces, esta es, sí. Una manera, esta es una manera bien educada o bien formal de poder, la, de poder de preguntar. ¿Ok? You see? May I go to the bathroom, please? ¿Puedo ir al baño, por favor? ¿Ok? Right? Uh -huh. You might go to the bathroom. Ah, ya yeah, me podría ir al baño. You see? Aquí ya no estoy haciendo una pregunta, pero estoy hablando de una posibilidad, ¿ok? Que se puede dar uh -huh. esta acción, right? You might go to the bathroom. Ah, podría ir al baño. You see? Entonces acá estoy hablando de una posibilidad de algo que suceda. ¿Y qué es la posibilidad? Ah, de que esa persona puede ir al baño. O uh -huh. podría en este caso ir al baño. Sí. Teacher, entonces se podría con, se podría contestar si se hace una pregunta con May, se podría con, contestar con Mike. Um, not precisely, no exactamente. A pesar de que ambas tienen las mismas, casi las mismas funciones, porque se usan casi para lo mismo, pero siempre se debe respetar como el, el, la estructura, ¿ok? Uh -huh. ¿Por qué la estructura? Que si hay una pregunta con May generalmente la respuesta sería con may, all right? Si hay con uh -huh. might, entonces la respuesta igual sería con might. Uh -huh. This is the way. Vaya, entonces aquí en ese ejemplo que me ha puesto que dice may I go to the bathroom, please. Uh -huh. eh, la respuesta es la que puso la paro. Ahí nada más me está me lo está poniendo con Mike. No, aquí simplemente es una forma de cómo poder decir nosotros que podemos dar permiso, ¿ok? O podemos uh, hablar de una posibilidad. Ahora, la respuesta. May I go to the bathroom, please? Uh -huh. Yes, you may go to the bathroom. You see? Yeah, you may go to the bathroom. Ok, o simplemente, yes, go. 
Mm -hmm. O simplemente, ok. Y sí, esas son las no sé respuestas. Que... Teacher, y ahí no hay problema donde usted lo cambió en Mike. Eh, que yo veo que en el primer ejemplo que me dio empieza con Mike y en el segundo lleva ah. antes el verbo. Mm, ah, pero mire, mire, la primer, lo, mire lo primero que sucede. Es una pregunta, lleva el símbolo de pregunta al final. Uh -huh. Y en la segunda no es pregunta, es una oración positiva nada más. Uh -huh. Tiene razón. Yes, por eso es que se colocan de esa manera. Recuerde que en pregunta cambian de posición. ¿Okay? Sí, sí, sí. Uh -huh. Yeah, they change position. Ok. Right. Uh -huh. For example, y en una tercera persona, teacher. Ah, ok. Usando mind. My mm -hmm. she asked you a question. Podría ella hacerle una pregunta? You see, esta es una manera bien polite o bien educada de poder de poder preguntar o pedir información. Like, ¿podría ella hacer una pregunta o hacerle una pregunta? You see? This is a very polite request. Esta es para uh -huh. hacer una solicitud bien, bien, bien formal. Y la respuesta sería she might, ¿verdad? Yes. She, yes. yes might she might ask, me ask you a question. Um, uh -huh. Ask me porque como, ella, como en la pregunta dice, might she ask you a question? ¿Podría ella preguntar, hacerle una pregunta? Ah, uh -huh. sí. Sí, ella podría hacerme, hacerme una pregunta. ¿Y sí? Por eso usamos ah. mi en ese caso. ¿Ok? Uh -huh. Yes. Entonces también uh, le mencionaba, vaya, de una manera general, podemos, ¿ok? Hacer un tipo de predicción, ¿ok? Utilizando, ¿ok? Uh, might y también may. Por ejemplo, utilizando might. Check this out. It might rain at night. You see? Ah, podría llover esta noche. Ok. Una posible causa. Ah, porque tal vez vemos el cielo nublado. Ah, it might rain at night. Ah, podría llover en la noche. ¿Qué uh -huh. estamos haciendo ahí? Expresando una posibilidad de algo que suceda. All right? Uh -huh. Yes. So that's one way how it works. Okay? It might rain at night. Ah, podría llover por la noche. So, entonces acá ya no estamos solicitando algún tipo de permiso. Aquí uh -huh. estamos dando una posibilidad de algo que suceda. Okay? Ajá. Uh -huh. Yes. Vaya, y otra con posibilidad. May. Ajá. Otra, vaya, otra posibilidad ya expresando May. Uh -huh. I no sé si la acá. Uh, yo no sé, uh, acá. I bought a sandwich to Natalie. All right. Sorry about writing your name this way. Okay. <laughs> I know your name is like this. And with I, right? Um. I Okay, I bought, listen, I bought a sandwich to Natalie because she may be hungry. Give me a second, what's going on with you? Okay. I bought a sandwich to Natalie because she may be hungry. Ah. Le compré un sándwich a Natalie porque puede que tenga hambre. ¿Y sí? Mm -hmm. ¿Qué estamos expresando ahí, Natalie? Ah, posibilidad. Estamos... Exactly, right? Estamos expresando una posibilidad. Okay. ¿Y cuál es la posibilidad ahí? Ah, que probablemente usted esté hambrienta. Sí? Teacher, no necesariamente tendría que llevar May al inicio. O sea, no hay una estructura para eso, sí. No, es que le he escrito las oraciones, las, la en May al principio cuando es pregunta. Cuando es, ah. una, cuando es una pregunta y se responde con yes o no. Uh -huh. Ahí es donde lleva May o might al, al inicio. inicio. Exacto. 
es como las preguntas que acabamos de practicar con did al principio. Sí, sí, sí. Ajá, por ser un verbo auxiliar, claro está. Ok, por eso es que va al principio, no porque eh, el may o might siempre van después del, del, del pronombre o del sujeto, ok, en una oración. After the subject, después del subject. Ajá, okay. um, by a yes. Ajá, that's the way how they work. Entonces, esa es la forma como ellas, eh, digamos, funcionan, este tipo de palabras. Uh -huh. O de verbos en este caso. Ajá. Entonces, recordemos. Funcionan como posibilidad de algo que pueda suceder, ambas, may and might, y también para solicitar o hacer solicitudes bien formales. Right. Para solicitudes yes. formales. Exacto. De una manera un tanto educada, por así decirlo. Ajá. Yes. Entonces, esos son los dos usos de may and might. Y, teacher, para eso no hay así como una estructura, dice. ¿Cómo así? Estru ah, claro que sí. Vaya, por ejemplo. Sí. Pues, para una oración positiva, vaya. Vamos a poner acá. Positive. Positive sentence. Vaya, miren. Tenemos el subject. Plus. May, en este caso. Vamos a comenzar con May. O puede poner Might también, porque como es la misma posición. Sí. May o Might. Ok. Plus Main Verb o Verbo Principal. Plus Complement. Entonces, esta es la estructura okay, de cómo formar una oración. Ya sea usando May o ya sea usando Might. Mm, para right. oraciones right. positivas, dice. Yes, positive sentences. Ahora bien, hagamos una oración de probabilidad o posibilidad el, a futuro. Example. I mm -hmm. might o may. Cualquiera de los dos lo puede usar. Sí. Visit you next year ahí lo vamos a poner debajo de cada uno de los aspectos visit es el verbo principal you next week es el complemento you see uh -huh. yo puedo decir I might visit you next week uh, I mean next year ah podría visitarte el próximo año I may visit you next year ah puedo visitarte el próximo año entonces ¿qué estamos haciendo ahí? estamos hablando de una posibilidad posibilidad a futuro Uh -huh. de algo que uh -huh. suceda a futuro ¿y por qué a futuro? porque llevamos next year el próximo año uh -huh. este okay, es, en, es, es en oraciones positivas uh -huh. negative sentences ah, oraciones negativas check this out aquí es diferente digamos que aquí la diferencia es que se le agrega una palabra más que es la negativa tenemos el mismo subject Plus, may o might, cualquiera de las dos que se puede usar. Plus, not. Plus, main verb. Plus, complement. Y aquí la tienen. Ejemplo, Natalie, may o might, not. Uh, let's see, Natalie uh, might not see, uh, practice English. Practice es el verbo principal, ¿ok? Y English uh -huh. sería el complemento, ¿ok? Natalie puede no practicar inglés o Natalie no puede practicar inglés o Natalie no podría practicar inglés, ¿y sí? Y ahí es negativo. Uh -huh. Ok, ahora bien, negativo. Ahora, pregunta. Ah, la estructura de pregunta. Mire, en una yes, yes, no, question. ¿Cuál va primero? Primero va may o might. En una pregunta de yes, no, answer. Plus. 
subject más el sujeto plus main verb, verbo principal plus complement plus question mark. Esta es la forma en cómo hacemos preguntas. Mire, may vamos a colocar esta. May Ok, may I go to the cinema with my friends? May I go to the cinema with my friends? O es la misma pregunta, mire. Might I go to the cinema with my friends? You see? El mismo estilo de pregunta. Y ahí llevamos la forma, ok. La estructura de cómo es que va formada. Uh -huh. Yeah, there you go. No sé si hay alguna pregunta con respecto a estas estructuras. No, ya no te eché. Ah, ok. Very good. So you see, entonces, estas son las formas. ¿Cómo contestamos? Acá, bien, igual podemos contestar con may o might. Yes. O con yes. Yes. You may. Yes, you might. Ok, o simplemente yes, of course. Sí, por supuesto. Mm -hmm. Ok, and so on. Ok, teacher. Yeah. So ok, teacher. All right. Esa era todo eh, la, las preguntas que tenía, Natalie. Sí, ¿O hay sí, sí, sí. Es que, no, es que ese tema era el que me había quedado duda. Ah. Okay. Uh -huh. All right. Sí, varios me han preguntado por ese mismo tema igual. Sí, ajá, es que es algo confuso. I was, I was not that, ajá, like, like 100% Porque yo sure. creo que ese tema no lo vimos en, en, los, en los cursos pasados. Ah, mm. no, la verdad es que estos dos no. ¿Verdad que no? no? Es que sí, hay unos que sí los hemos ajá. repetido, ajá, exactly. y ya más o menos no tienen idea, pero ese no me recuerda haberlo yeah, visto. Yeah, I mean, this one was different. Ese sí ya, ya, ya es nuevo. ¿Verdad que sí? Ah, yeah, pues sí, Tiche. Okay, ya ve que me acuerdo, me dijo. Yeah, now you remember. Now I know that you remember. Bye, All right, pues, Natalie. Pues, if you don't have any other questions, have no, a wonderful teacher. night. Okay, have a wonderful bye, night. Bye. And see you tomorrow, okay? Okay, bye, Tiche. Right. Bye, bye. Gracias. Okay. Adiós. Bye, bye.